hold on just want to show you guys something real quick okay because my skin right now the belly glow the chest glow okay looks like i've been sitting in the sun Woo! oh oh I got this Fenty Beauty Body Lava in the color Cognac, Cognac, Cognac Candy. Do y'all see this? Like... <sighs> guys and welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who may or may not already know my name is alex aka yellowberry and for today's video you already know why you are here we are going to get into seven different things that people do not tell you before you get pregnant before i got pregnant i you know of course heard all the typical things morning sickness you're gonna gain weight i even heard that your feet sometimes go up a size which is crazy to me but there are a few things that I'm experiencing now in my pregnancy that I did not know was a thing. So, let's get into it. <laughs> if you guys see me looking down, I have my phone in my hand just with my notes and stuff like that. So, don't be alarmed. The first thing I want to get into is how hard it is to get out of my bed and to turn like from side to side. As I can see, I have a little belly, but it's nothing huge. Like... It is nothing compared to what my belly will probably be when I'm nine months. Let me be the one to tell you guys, it does not matter how big you are. It is going to get hard in the midst of your pregnancy to turn in the bed. Like just literally just turn left to right or even just to get out of the bed. There was a YouTube video that I was watching and one of the girls stated that there's a way that you have to get out of your bed because you can't just come up forward because it, um... It does something to the muscles down there, like, after you give birth, it kind of loosens the muscles. So it's important that you, know, always turn to the side and kind of get up that way. But even if I do try to get up forward, it's like the muscle is dead. Like, my core muscle is dead. It's like, I literally cannot. And then trying to turn to my side to get up is just so hard, guys. Like, again, my stomach is small, but I don't know. Like, it's just so flipping hard to get up. The second thing that people do not say about pregnancy is it doesn't matter how big or small you are, you will feel pregnant. And I'm talking about set aside from like nausea and like obvious things that make you feel like you're pregnant. I just feel like, I don't want to say the word fat, but I just feel so fat. Like <laughs> I'm gaining all this extra weight that technically doesn't belong to me. It belongs to me, but it doesn't belong to me because, you know, now I have, like, all the fluids in my stomach. I have a baby in there. I have the baby's organs. So, you know, it's not just, like, my skin and bones and blood and stuff like that. So, like, you just feel pregnant. And, again, I had the mindset that, you know, when you're big and pregnant, that's when you'll feel everything. But, no, like, my pregnancy feelings had came as early as like the end of my first trimester to my second trimester that's when i started feeling i'm lying because even in my first trimester i actually felt very pregnant like i just felt so frumpy and blah 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 but as i'm getting bigger and again my stomach is not that big i just feel so pregnant i just feel so like my back hurts i can't stand for too long like <sighs> the third thing people do not tell you about pregnancy is why you pee so much again <laughs> has nothing to do with the size of your stomach i was also under the impression that when your stomach is huge of course the baby's on your bladder you're gonna have to pee a lot no literally you're gonna have to pee as early as just the day that you find that you're pregnant one when you use when you urinate it's because your body is fil your body is fil filtering the blood in your system and then you have to pee as well as if you drink a lot of water and stuff like that you're gonna have to pee so now that i have a baby in my stomach i am filtering blood for the both of us so i like to think of it as half of the time i'm peeing for myself and half of the time i'm peeing for the baby because the baby doesn't really like go to the bathroom you know what i'm saying like the baby doesn't defecate inside of me and stuff like that so i have to filter out 
the extra things that we do not need for the baby another thing with that is i guess like my muscles aren't strong enough right now or i mean i don't really exercise which i need to even though like i feel like i have to pee so bad i would go to the bathroom and it's like three trickles it's the most annoying thing ever and when i have to pee it literally feels like a ton of bricks like one moment i'm fine the next moment it's like douche like i have to go to the bathroom right now take me to the bathroom right now the fourth thing that people do not tell you when you are pregnant is that your sleep pattern will change i know at the end of your pregnancy your sleep pattern usually changes because um like you're nesting and it's a third trimester so your body is getting prepared for the sleepless nights that you're about to encounter but literally out of nowhere in the beginning of my pregnancy i was going to sleep by like 9 10 o'clock because your girl could not stay up for the life of her and then it kind of became routine then i started waking up earlier as well which i kind of figured if i'm going to bed earlier i'll wake up earlier it kind of makes sense guys now i am a night owl like i will stay up until four or five o'clock in the morning if you let me and I don't like doing that because with staying up that late I'm going to wake up around like midnight midday 1 2 p.m. I believe a young lady should not start her day that late at least not every single day so it annoys the crap out of me but I just literally cannot go to sleep nothing's bothering me I don't want to say I'm restless but it's kind of just like I just want to be up like I just want to watch TV I want to hang out I want to you know I just find more things to do around that time so your sleep pattern is going to change consult your doctor because I don't you know everybody's different I don't know if it's normal or not but your sleep pattern definitely changes like out of nowhere the fifth thing will be that any previous moles that you had will start to raise or you will start to grow more moles or like freckles like things like that I have two moles on my stomach that used to be very flat and I'm noticing in my pregnancy they're starting to like raise up and I'm just so confused I'm like I had these moles for the last 25 years why are they raising like even the one I have like on the side of my face right here it's not like big and nasty and crazy but it's still just like they were flat and I know my sister she has like a lot of like skin tags moles whatever she told me she got them during pregnancy and my niece is like a grown woman at this point and I'm just like this is so crazy nobody tells you that your moles are going to raise or that you're gonna grow more moles why <laughs> I don't get it what does this have to do with pregnancy so the sixth thing that people do not tell you before you get pregnant is that you will wet your pants like <laughs> it's so embarrassing to say but when I laugh oh my gosh do not tell me a funny joke i will literally wet my pants and again it's not because i have to use the bathroom it's not because there's a lot of pee in me literally i can just go to the bathroom right now and come back and if you tell me a funny joke i will tinkle myself like it's just so embarrassing so embarrassing so all this says to me is i need to do my kegels because then clearly like something down there is like kind of loose I need to get some control of it because when I give birth, it's just going to get worse. But literally, guys, you will wet your pants. Some more than others, some less than others, but be aware. And now the seventh thing, the last thing that people do not tell you before you get pregnant is that you will, well, not you will, you may get bloody gums. It is because of the progesterone. Progest the proge progesterone that your body has now um i'm not really too sure about the science behind it. i just know that it does have something to do with progesterone again contact your dentist because bloody gums is still something you know to be kind of alarmed about but i have noticed that this week actually um my gums have started to get a little bloody just only when i brush my teeth and only in the morning when i brush my teeth i don't see it at like night or anything like that i haven't seen it for more than a week i don't know if it'll stop whatever whatever but i did see that it also has something to do with the amount of sweets that you intake and i do eat a lot of sweets i love my cake and i love my chocolate <laughs> so i am gonna try to cut back on that because nobody wants bloody gums i've never never dealt with that before but again it is very common in pregnancy and it is something that people do not tell you about but that'll be it for the seven things that people do not tell you about before you get pregnant if you guys have any other things that you've experienced during your pregnancy please comment down below please share it with the 
girls you would like to know what is tea when it comes to pregnancy because I thought it was just all about growing boobs, your hair growing, nails growing. You know, people always tell you the glamorous things. So I just want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.